So I'm very glad here, and it's also my first visit to this uh, library, Jawaharlal Nehru Memorial Library. I have heard very much about this, and I hope to visit here to come and to do some research. Uh, and the topic is especially on, on the end of indenture. 2017 May, it is 100 years uh, that, that the indentured uh, recruitment has been terminated. It may be discussion about what is the specific date of the termination. We have a whole discussion about with a number of colleagues. Still, it is not clear what is the exact date of the abolition of indentured labor. And, and this year, in all the countries, they are commemorating uh, this event. Uh, Trinidad me ho rahe hai, Mauritius me ho rahe hai, aur uh, Fiji, and and in in Holland in October they will organize something. That Suriname is a very small country. It is a former Dutch colony, and it uh, became independent in 1975. It is on the north east coast of South America, and politically it is a part of the Caribbean. Historically and politically, it is a part of the Caribbean. It is a member of the CARICOM. And it shared its history uh, just as the Caribbean plantation colony with slavery and indentured labor. It was first colonized by the British, then by the Dutch, and since 75, we are an independent country. And in the past, we had slavery uh, to produce sugar, coffee, cotton, and cocoa, and slavery has been abolished in 1863. That is about 30 years after abolition in the British colonies. And just as in the British colonies, the plantation owners tried to get laborers. First they tried with Chinese, but that was on, on, on private uh, base. Then we had people from the West Indian colonies, British colonies in the Caribbean, the former slaves, they tried to get them to work in Suriname, especially from Barbados, uh, because that is a small island with too much people, they couldn't get the job, and they tried to get them. And after that, we had immigration from uh, India, Indian, they came all from Calcutta, and that's why the migrants were called also Calcutias, because they came all from Calcutta. And from nine, 1890, we had uh, immigration from Indonesia. And that's very important in our case, because that makes us very unique in the whole endangered uh, history. Okay, the migration, was until 1873 on a private scheme. That means uh, private companies and persons had to uh, look for migrants to get laborers from abroad and they got some subsidy from the government, but all the efforts failed. And from 1861, even before the abolition of slavery, the Dutch government started negotiations with the uh, British government to try to get permission for the import of Indian laborers in Suriname. And it took until 1868 or 69, and the negotiations failed. They can, in 1869, they uh, began uh, uh, again, and one of the main point was that the British government demanded that immigration, recruitment, the whole system should be based on, on uh, interference of the government. It should be a government enterprise. And that, is also, that was also in the British colonies. Uh, you should know that the migrants, they signed a contract not with the employer, uh, the owners of the plantation, but the contract was signed between the laborer and the government, the colonial government. 
that was that were the two signatory pa parties and the uh, plantation owners they con could hire the laborers so they were not the real uh, parties for 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 them and that's why yahan par logo ne sochte the that they were going to do government work logo se puchte the aap naukri karonge that they were no crypto that is a, a very high esteem in that period so that's why people uh, talk that is very good i get no crypto so i'm i'm going and they signed a contract with the government and in 1870 there uh, was a, a treaty an emigration treaty signed by the dutch and the british government on the basis of Uh, that treaty emigration in to suriname started in 1873 and that lasted until 1916 on nice of sola me akri boat ya ne ship came to suriname in may 1960 and i don't go to what was uh, in danger labor that is not the topic but it was very important for the people that they thought that they will get a lot of money much more earning than here yahan par log kamate the do anni do anna aur wahan par bara anna so that look very very much and that was for daily uh, wages but what they they were not told about is that they had to work on task basis task basis उसके बारे में मैं बाद में और कुछ कहूंगा एंड पीपल केम फ्रॉम डिफरेंट डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड सूरी नाम द इमिग्रेंट केम फ्रॉम वट वी नाउ कॉल यूपी एंड द वेस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ बिहार मेनली यूपी और बिहार से लोग आए थे एंड दे व कलेक्टेड इन सब डिपोर्ट्स इन डिफरेंट सिटीज दे साइन द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑन द सुपरफिशन of the local authorities important local authorities they has to supervise that and were transported to kolkata from where they went to suriname to paramaribo that is the capital city and the contract was for 5 years and it, on the plantations they were isolated from the rest of the society and very important is now let us say about causes and motives why they migrated there has been a lot of the written a lot of things about push and pull factors and that there was a lot of fraud and deception that is a debate in the literature and it depends on on to which uh, approach you have for instance uh, what we call the tinkerian thinker approach that Uh, indented labor is a system of slavery but nowadays in the present time we have an other kind of approach uh, especially influence also by the subaltern uh, studies in uh, what has been originated here and now spread to in the whole world in which we speak about agency of the people agency because they were not only victims but they had their own will to make decisions what to do in their life to take the decision at a certain moment in their life to migrate why not all people migrated why only 1 million 1.2 uh, million and at which moment they migrate that has to do also with your own will and the circumstances in which you Uh, migrate so this is the, the new approach what we try to introduce in the historiography of indented labor and very important is that the intending immigrants were not informed about the disciplinary measures taken by authorities in case of not delivering the amount of work expected from them yeah that's very important about that aspect they were never informed i have found records in which the immigration agents had a, a meeting in which they discussed this matter and they said no let us keep that 
secret. We don't, we should not tell the people. About all other things they told them, but about the disciplinary, what we call penal sanction, that uh, uh, they could be brought uh, for the criminal court in, in, the, in cases uh, when they did not deliver the work or they did not go to work. Okay. Now, about Suriname, the geo geographical background, I, I said already they were from Western Bihar, mainly Western Bihar and Eastern UP. That means uh, language, Bhojpuri, Audhi, Braj, Maithili, etc. Agar jamai Hindustani bolunga, Sarnami Hindustani, ta aap dekhenge usme Audhi, or Bhojpuri zyada se zyada mix hai. But there are also some aspects of Maithili and so on. So that is, uh, and, and that's the, the language we developed in Suriname, f uh, our ancestors called it Sarnami Hindustani, but it is a mix of Bhojpuri, Audi, and other languages. And how much Audi and how much Bhojpuri, I don't know. So for that we need to research from linguists and that they should help us in, in study of the language. And we speak also Hindi, Urdu, and in, we call it Hindustani also. And no, when I speak Hindi, try to speak Hindi, to usme both loves alfas Urdu ke aajate. Kyunke when I was a child, young boy, I went to the madarsa in the jamaat, wahan pa Urdu sikhe hai or radio dwara and so on, then I learned also Hindi. Kabhi padha nahi, lekin sunne se sikh gaya uttharamani. Religion, uh, about 80% of the people were Hindu, and about, no, 80%, about 18% about Muslim. And all castes and classes were represented. It was not only the lowest ca uh, cl uh, caste. There have been studies about them because in the registers, all castes have been registered. Hindu ke register me caste likha gaya, kon caste ke hai. And uh, it was very difficult to get enough women. And that's very important because that was the main item main object, main target of the nationalists when they attacked endangered labor system. Position of women during endangered. And the ratio, uh, male, female, was 100 men, 40 women on each ship. And that means on total about 28 and half percent of the total uh, uh, number were women. Okay, why we got abolition of endangered labor? Ashutosh did her PhD on that matter, so I don't want to talk very much about it because I can make mistakes, but what, what is important to know that endangered labor has been abolished by uh, resistance in India, and not because of resistance in the uh, overseas colonies, except South Africa. Uske chhod kar ek desh mein nahi hua hai ke people has resisted against indentured labor to stop it. Akhas kar ke, especially after 1900, the system has been improved. In 1891, we had a mission of uh, Major Cummins, who was a protector of immigrants. He went to the colonies, he visited, and saw about the, the position of the people, and gave some advices to improve the position of the indentured labor. So in Suriname, as a result, we had that, for instance, that the people, uh, when they uh, decided to stay in Suriname, they did not lose their right on free return, that they can keep that. They could get a piece of land, uh, 
that could be uh, one and a half hectare. I, repeat, I speak on about hectare, one, one hectare is I, I think two and a half acres, till five hectare. And later on, when you became a farmer and it was not enough for you, you could get more. So that was very attractive. That is since 1895 in Suriname. And that was very important because then many people decided to settle in Suriname. So for the very uh, poor people from UP Bihar, they were laborers, uh, agricultural laborers. They were chota, uh, chota zamindar ho gaya, owner of a piece of land. That meant very much for them. Okay. Uh, I mentioned the, the impact of the experiences of Gandhi. Uh, to, uh, Ashutosh mentioned also Tota Ram Sanadia's book, Meri Ekis Baras Fiji Ke Dweep Me, his experience uh, there. And he has written that book especially to tackle indentured la labor system, 1914. And main point in the argument was what I have seen in, in, in the literature and also in the sources is against the treatment of women during indenture, especially the situation regarding the male and female ratio and its consequences. And that is a very complex thing. One of my students just finished a uh, MA thesis on the position of female indentured women. Was that position better than the position of women in India or was it worse? And you cannot answer that question with yes or no, better or not, because it is very complex. On the one hand, the ratio, Charlie's Aurat so Marpa, give their a, a kind of power, bargaining their position during indenture and later on. But it created also social problems for the men, for the women. And for the men, it has also as a consequence that, uh, 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 how you say, fighting, quarrels regarding women, and also suicide. On the, on the other hand, uh, mistreatment of women, and so on. And the other thing is also, uh, let me see, important to the depth, yeah. Why people resisted? Yahapar, public opinion, since about 1880, public opinion about indentured labor was negative. And that was the reason for the uh, government, Yahke Sarkarke, UP of Bihar, they, they appointed two persons, a major pitcher in UP and uh, Grierson, you know, I think you know the name Grierson in Bihar. They uh, made, uh, did uh, research and, and they brought a report about, especially about the opinion of the people. This time now? Yeah, so I'm trying to and what was when the, the indenture was, was, was uh, abolished, what was the response in the colonies? Agar ya wo system of slavery tha, then you should expect that the people in the colonies would be very glad ki ab hum log ke gulami khatam ho gaya. Agar ya system of slavery tha. Lekin, the real situation is something else. We see that from the colonies, from Suriname, from Fiji, and other colonies, the Indians were not glad with the abolition of indentured labor. That doesn't mean that were pro-indentured labor, but indentured labor gave them the opportunity to migrate Kyonke, due to the indentured labor, they could get a free passage 
to the destination country. And migration was a means for them, an instrument to better their life. A fact is that the people who migrated, they settled in the colonies, they, 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 set, they uh, formed a new community. And with hard working, after five years of suffering, and that five years of suffering they called Narak. It was really Narak. And they talked about Girmit Kate, hard times. Lekin wo Narak ke baat swarak aate. After the indenture. And that's why people from Suriname, they sent delegation to India in 1921 to talk with the nationalist leaders and ask permission ki ab se phir se moka de ki migration hoye in order form, in assisted uh, migration. And that was the situation in, in the whole Caribbean. Even the government waha, they, they wanted uh, to continue migration, not as indented labor in other form. Guyana may they have tried, but it was not successful. Uh, and in our case, yeah, let me say that the, the government thought that the end of indentured migration would be very harmful for them, the economy. They uh, depended on the import of laborers. In our special case, I, I told you that we had uh, people from Indonesia, immigrants. That was a very unique situation. That meant that at the moment, indentured migration from India stopped. They uh, increased the immigration from Indonesia. And immigration from in, in Indonesia lasted in Suriname until 1931, 39, 1939. So the impact, the, let's say the, the negative impact of stopping the endangered migration was less in Suriname. The Dutch government, the Dutch plantation owners had the other source of laborers and that is the Indonesians. I think I can stop with this uh, remark, and if you have questions, you can talk.